thumbs up if you can hear me. We had those beautiful cherry blossoms flying down from the heavens. We got John with us. So we're about to get started. So welcome yogis. I am uh, Susan Smelt and I am going to be your guide today. So I got Buddy here. I don't know if Buddy's going to do yoga with us or if she's going to hang out. We got Kathy in the house. She looks a little frisky, so I'm not sure she's going to stay. But we've got a 45-minute flow. So there goes Buddy. So when you are ready, we're just going to go ahead and start. So come right down onto your mat. And we're going to come into child's pose. So just let your knees go nice and wide. Let your big toes track together. And then lengthen your arms out in front of your body as you bow your head down. So go ahead and close your eyes. Connect to your breath by moving your breath in and out through your nose. And collectively, all together, let's take a nice deep breath in. Fill your chest, your lungs, your diaphragm up. And then sigh it out your mouth. <sighs> now, staying in child's pose, let your elbows root down. Let your hands come together in prayer behind your head. Let your thumbs reach back to the nape of your neck. So just beginning your practice here today with a little summer loving. Just bringing an intention into your practice that you would like this dedicate this time that you've carved out. Maybe it's a wish or a prayer for someone in your life that could use just that little bit of extra you, that little bit of extra encouragement. Let your intention help elevate your practice to a higher level. Then lengthen your arms out. Go ahead and tuck your toes under and take your body right in to down dog. Now in your down dog, your very first, maybe first, maybe second, maybe hundredth down dog today might be your first practice ever or your 100 millionth. Just know you are exactly where you belong. This practice is for everyone. So pedal through your feet, take a peek at your hands. They're going to be the width of your shoulders. Your feet are going to be the width of your hips. And you're going to press through the heels one at a time. Then on the inhale, all together, let's pick both of our heels up. Breathe in. Bend your knees. Let them hover over your mat. Shift your shoulders over your wrists and just hold. Now shift your hips back, spiral your inner thighs in, and make this a down dog wave. Shift forward, bend the knees, hover. Shift back, spiral in and up. Inhale, connect your breath, shift forward, bend the knees, scoop the inner thighs in and up. Last time, inhale, shift. Exhale, let the hips draw up and back. Now in your down dog, just take a nice, slow stroll to the top of your mat. Just walk your feet to your hands. When you get there, heel toe your feet all the way to the width of your mat. Put a softness in your knees, one hand on each bicep, and come right into ragdoll. So just hang out here. Ignite a little sway in your ragdoll. Start to make that energy that is beneath you from the earth permeate up through the soles of your feet and then out the crown of your head. So make a little shift. Let the crown of the head be heavy and connect to your breath. Give yourself some space. Give yourself some time to kind of get 
the blood flowing into the head. There's quite a shift there. And then shake out any kind of angst or worry, anything that's troubling you, anything that could possibly hinder your practice. Go ahead and set it aside. Let it drop from in between your ears out onto your mat and practice staying in this place. Draw that yes back in, just honoring yourself for unrolling your mat today. There's magic in the summer, a lot of time that we can carve out for self-development and to find new ways of being. Now let the right hand come down, shift the right knee on the diagonal, peel the left arm up. Take that and then switch it out. Right toes in, left toes out on the diagonal, left hand down, spin the right arm up. Breathe in. Come back to the center. Stay in the fold, but lace your hands behind your back and let your shoulders rinse overhead. Release that connection. Pump the shins back and the heart forward. Exhale, bow down and fold. Rise all the way up. Van Morrison put it this way. Right hand, left wrist. Smell the sea and feel the sky. Let your soul and spirit fly. Lift up and over in the opposite direction. And then come back to the center. Create that T, that goal post style. Then collect your hands, heel toe your feet to the width of your hips and cascade down over your legs. Inhale and lengthen. Let the right leg step back. Let the left leg join. On the in-breath, pick your heels up. Bend your knees. This time, let them land. Shift shoulders over the wrists. Go chin, chest, belly. Slither down onto your mat. Point your toes. Lift your head and heart up as you press your finger pads down. Exhale, lower your chin back down. Do that again. Rise up. Let the inner edges of your feet go long and let your heart lift. Exhale, lower back down. One more time. Inhale, root to rise up. Breathe in. Heart lifts and expands. Exhale, lower back down. Now hands are going to either lace or just come alongside your body. And then we're going to lift and rise right up, letting your soul and your spirit fly. Breathe, lengthen your neck. Release back down, hands by your ribs, tuck your toes under, send your hips up and back, take it into down dog. On the inhale, shift into high plank. On the exhale, lower all the way to your mat. Point your toes, rise up, cobra. Exhale, lower back down, push back. Downward facing dog. Do that again. Elevate the heels up. Puff the lower back up. Knit the ribs in. Uncoil the body into high plank. Maybe knees, maybe straight from plank. Lower down to your mat, right onto your belly. Maybe cobra or even up dog. Palms of hands, tops of feet. Take it up and back. Down dog. Let that right leg lift up. Pick up the left heel, turn open at the hip. Right knee, right tricep, give it a tap. Inhale, stretch it back long. Right knee, left tricep, hug it across your body. Inhale, stretch it up and back, turn open at the hip. Stay right here or flip it inside out. Right foot behind the left. Left heel lifts. Right arm up and over. Breathe in. Create a back bend or stay in three-legged down dog with the right leg lifted. Bring it around. Right knee into the forehead. Step the right foot forward. You're in a lunge, but keep the finger pads down. Now lift the heart up. Breathe in. Pull the navel into the spine. Exhale. Inhale, it's a little cow in the lunge. Exhale, pull the navel in. 
dip the back knee down. Keep the heart lifting for a little cow. Exhale, glide back, runner stretch. Do that one more time. Rock and glide forward. Lift the heart up. Breathe in. Exhale, glide and slide back. Breathe out. Now float to the top of your mat, coming into that standing L shape. Look back at that left foot. Maybe you like to flex it. Maybe you want to point it. You could go in between for a little floint, but hold. Now left knee into the forehead, step it next to the right, and come right into Utkatasana chair pose. Now inhale, rise up, hook your thumbs, Open the chest and the heart. Look up. Look up at the sky. If you're not outside, visualize the sky. Look up at the heavens. Exhale, bow down and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Take it through that vinyasa flow. Meeting back in down dog. Let that left leg lift up. Turn open at the hip. Long right side body. Left knee, left tricep, tap it high. Inhale, stretch it long. Left knee, work the oblique, right tricep. Inhale, take it up and back. Turn open at the hip. Bend the knee, flex the foot, spread the toes. Stay right here. Or if that still small voice says go, then flip inside out for wild thing. Let the heart lift up. Let the right hip rise. Left arm comes up. Bring it around. Left knee into the forehead. Make it smooth. Step the left foot up. Stay in the lunge. Tent the finger pads. Draw your heart through. Now pull the navel into the spine for a little cat. Puff it up. Inhale. Heart lifts. A little cat. Pull it in and up. Now dip the right knee down and let the heart keep coming through the gateway. Now take a glide and slide back for runner stretch. Ardha Hanumanasana. Dig that left femur bone as the left heel dives into the earth. Inhale, glide and slide. Lift the heart up. Exhale, back into that runner stretch. Bow down. Now from here, float the right inner thigh up. Come into that L shape. Now look back at the right foot. You might flex it. You might point it. You might do that hybrid in between a flex or a point. But let there be balance in the hips. Now pull the right knee into the forehead. Step it next to the left. Come into Utkatasana chair pose. Inhale, stand up. Hook your thumbs. Open up. Exhale, dive back down. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float it back. Take your body through that flow. Take it up and back and breathe out. Walk your feet in a little bit. They're going to come in about six inches. Bring your feet together and take a peek at your hands. Now, stabilizing your down dog, we're going to hop up into chair. So pick your heels up on the in-breath, on the out-breath, bend your knees. On the in-breath, hop, float, fly, feet to your hands right at the top of your mat. Come into chair. From your chair, stand up. Breathe in, hook the thumbs, open the heart. Exhale, dive down, let it go, let it flow. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Take it through that vinyasa flow. Let the right leg lift. Turn open at the hip. Step it up. High lunge, crescent lunge. Rise up, breathe in. Open it up into warrior. Flip the right palm, peaceful. Arc it up and back. Pinwheel your hands down. Let it go all the way through that flow. Know that you could take it out. You can kick it up. You can fly. Left leg lifts. Come as you are. Move like the real you. Turn open at the hip. Step the left foot up. Warrior two. Press right into that solid stance. Flip that left palm. 
peaceful as you arc up and back. Pinwheel your hands down. Move on through. Maybe you lift up. Maybe you take that flow out. Whatever serves you best is the way you move, the way you breathe. Now, walk your feet in. We're going to do the same series of moves again. The heat is building. Before you take off, connect your hands. Get some summer loving in those hands. Feet are together. And now a little summer fly. Elevate the heels up, breathe in, exhale, bend the knees, breathe out. Hop, float, fly, feet to your hands, either step, walk, float, fly, land in chair, utkatasana. Stand up, open up the heart, look up. Exhale, hinge, bend, fold. Step or float it back, take your body through that light flow. Meeting back in, down dog. Right leg lifts. Turn open at the hip. High lunge. Come into crescent. Legs on their own tracks of train. Breathe in. Open it up. Breathe out. Flip that right palm. Reverse it. Peaceful. Pinwheel the hands down. Let it go. Let it flow. Empty your breath out. Inhale on the rise up. Exhale, take it back. Down dog. Left leg lifts. Turn open. Step it up that high lunge. Breathe in on the inhale. Exhale, press into two. Inhale, flip. Peaceful arc up and back. Pinwheel your hands down. Let your body go. Let it flow. You choose that exit. You can step back. You can meet back. You can almost go up and over. Whatever is going to serve you best in your practice. Coming back to down dog all together. Now, walk your hands back to your feet all the way to the back of your mat. Kick your heels in, toes out. Drop the hips, come to malasana. So right at the back of the mat, lift your heart up. Now, walk your fingertips out in front. Lift the hips up, kick the heels out, pass the baby asana. Brush and sweep your hands, let them rinse overhead. Release that connection. Heel toe your feet all the way together. Rise up, breathe in, stretch high. Exhale, bow back down, breathe out. Do that again. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bow and fold. Rise back up, breathe in. This time, hold your arms up. Lift up your heels. Balance. Now, take your hands alongside your body, nice and slow. Keep hugging your ankle bones in together. Now bend at the waist and lift the palms up. Dive. Take that deep dive and plunge. Now fingertips go down, not hands, but tips of fingers. Now hips to heels, finger pads still down. Now we're going to move through these two poses. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, fold, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, inhale, lift. Now hold. Let your hands come to your heart. Balance. Balance. Breathe and balance. Steady your gaze. Heels are lifted. Inner edges of your ankles are together. Now, let your hands go down. If you want to move into that yoga squat or a little bakasana, where you hug the inner edges of your feet together, lifting the inside edges up, land back down, but in malasana at the back of your mat. Rise up one time, breathe in. Heel toe the right foot in. 
slip your hand on the left shin, pick it up, breathe, stand tall. Bring that left knee into heart center, cross it over the right standing pigeon. Stable and steady. Take your hands, lace them behind your back. Let the index fingers go long. Fold more at the waist. Unravel the left leg. Now take a dive. Spirit dive down. Lift your hands off the back body. Breathe. Release the hands down. Three-legged dog. Pick the right heel up. Turn open at the hip. Left knee, left tricep, tap it up nice and high. Inhale, stretch it long. Left knee, right tricep, hug it across. Inhale, take it up and back. Stay right here or continue on to flip inside out. You choose, you decide. Breathe, let the right hip lift. Left arm comes up, bring it around, left knee comes in. Step it up, keep your finger pads down. Bring your heart through, lift it up. Pull the navel in for that little bit of cat. This time, inhale, levitate the arms up. Collect your hands overhead and bend your elbows. Now, settle your thumbs in the back of the nape of your neck like we did in the beginning. Now, brush and sweep your hands alongside your body. Inhale, rise your arms up. Bend them again. Reach the head back, breathe. Now this time, brush and sweep. Take off, airplane. Let the heart lift. Soften the left knee, pull the right knee in. Stand in crane. Turn your crane into tree. Levitate your arms up. Let the roots go deep. Let the leaves go high. Find that point of balance. Smooth out your breath. Smooth your gaze. Lift out of that left hip. Find that balance in your practice and in your life. Release. Swan dive down. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Take it through vinyasa. Meeting back in down dog. Walk your hands right back to your feet, all the way at the back of your mat. Heel toe your feet apart. Let your heels come in, toes out. Bend the knees and come back to malasana, the back of your mat. Heart lifts. Breathe. Now lift up and out of the hips. Look up. Exhale, come back down, build that heat. Here we go, inhale, rise up. Open up to this new season. Exhale, come back down one more time. Inhale, rise up a little summer loving. Exhale, come back down. Now, this time, plant your hands down, pick your heels up, come into Bakasana again. Now, if you wanna move on from here, here's the place. You could, or you could always even stay right in Malasana, that yoga squat. You get to choose, you decide. But find ways to capture balance. Breathe and bask. Breathe, hug the inner thighs in if you're upside down. Squeeze the inner ankles together and then make it a round trip. We're all gonna meet back in Malasana, that yoga squat where your feet are heels in, toes out. Now, go ahead and stand up. Heel toe, that right foot in. Let that left hand slip on the left shin. Pick it up tall, stand tall. Now cross that left leg over the right. Pull that right hip back. Get nice and low. Reach your arms forward. Now take your arms back, lace them, unravel the left leg, and dive on down. 
take that deep plunge. Maybe your hands lift off your back body. Now release the hands out. Let the right heel lift. Bend the left leg, turn open. Left knee, left tricep, tap it up there. Inhale, stretch it out nice and long. Left knee, right tricep, hug it across. Inhale, stretch it out and back. Turn open at the hip. Stay, or maybe this is where you flip inside out. That left arm lift. Bring it around, pull that left knee in. Step it forward, let the finger pad stay down, draw your heart through. Pull your belly in for a little cat. Inhale, pull your heart through again. Exhale, pull your belly in. Now inhale, this time rise the arms up. Bend the arms, collect the hands, let the head rest. Brush and sweep the hands alongside the body. Inhale, rise back up, collect the hands, bend the elbows, lean up and back. This time, brush and sweep right into airplane. Let that right inner thigh lift, let the heart elevate, breathe. Put a softness in that left knee, pull the right knee in, stand tall. Slip the right inner foot to the left inner thigh. Vrikshasana, maybe the left calf, balance. Balance and tree. Lift the arms up. Let the roots go deep. Breathe in. Hold. Sit it into chair. Exhale. Take a brush and sweep of your hands. Brush away anything not serving you. Inhale. Rise up. Pick the heels up. Stand tall. Sit back down into chair. Exhale, sweep away. Inhale, come back up. Lift the heels, balance on the balls of your feet. You've got this. Exhale, brush and sweep. Inhale, rise back up. Breathe in. Now keep the heels lifted. Take your hands right alongside your body. Hinge at the waist. Dive. Dive right over the edge, living on the edge this summer. Discovering new ways of being. Smell the sea, feel the sky. Let your soul and spirit fly. Finger pads down. Hips to heels. Exhale, bow back down. Inhale, come back up. It's got a little kundalini style of breath. Inhale, exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, last time, exhale. Inhale, now, hands to heart center and balance. Let your bottoms come down. Wrap your arms around your shins, round your back, tuck your chin, hold. Now lift your legs up into that high boat, breathe. Plug your shoulder heads in and let the heart lift. Exhale, pull that right knee in nice and tight. Inhale, come back up, exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, breathe. Now the beetles say, but tomorrow it may rain, so we'll follow the sun. However, the weather keeps changing, and now tomorrow we're going to have more sunshine for our holiday. So pull it in, lift the heart up, you've got this. Now hold up this time, high boat, high boat. Plant your feet. Take your hands back. Slip them in your back pockets. Roll the shoulders up and back. Pick your hips up. Breathe in. Exhale. Lower your hips back down. Don't let them touch. Inhale. Pump your heart up. Reverse tabletop. Altar pose. Exhale. Walk forward. Back in to Malasana. From Malasana squat. Rise up. Heel toe, that right foot in. Pick up that left shin. Stand tall. Breathe into it. Cross that left leg over the right. Standing pigeon. Top of your mat. Steady your gaze. Take your hands. Lace them behind your back. Dive on down. Let your back, let your arms lift. Breathe. Steady and stable. Step back. Crescent lunge, 
high lunge. Left hand forward, right hand back. Exalt it, right hand behind the left, arc up and back. Now, ring it out and twist. Twist, let the left upper arm come on the outside of that right front thigh. Maybe you open up from here. Breathe. Bring it up and around slow. Warrior two. Stable and steady. Straighten that right leg. Flip that right palm. Bend the right arm. Catch it with the left hand. Lift up and back. Breathe. Now release it as you reach out and down. Triangulate yourself. Right knee softens. Left arm lifts. Let the left hand come to the small of your back, maybe the top of that right thigh, and then hop up half moon. Breathe and hold. Let go of that bind if you have it and activate that chapasana connection. Kick the shin back, lift the heart up. Release it, lower the left hand down. Exhale the left leg behind the right, get low, get little. Inhale, come back up, bell shape. Exhale, squeeze it back down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, squeeze it back down. Stay low, stay little. Peel the right arm up. Look up, expand your wings. Get ready to fly in this summer season, going somewhere you haven't been before. Take that lid off your marvelous mind. Let the arms lift, chair. Stand right up, hook the thumbs, open up. Open up your heart. Exhale, bow down. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Take it through vinyasa. Meeting back in down dog. Now shorten up your dog. Walk the feet in. Let your breath smooth out. Find a solid gripping of your hands. Even your finger pads grip. You can even take a peek at them. Now before we go anywhere, visualize your feet landing to the outsides of your pinky fingers. So we're going to land in Malasana. So go ahead and begin with that end in mind. Now inhale the heels up. Exhale, bend your knees. Float, fly, hop to Malasana, top of your mat. Inhale, rise up, stand tall. Heel toe that left foot in. Take your time, balance, and pick up the right shin. Stand into it. Cross that right leg over the left, standing pigeon. Draw that left hip back. Keep the gaze steady. Slip your hands, lace them, draw the right leg back as you bow down. Now point the right toes, maybe the left arm, they lift up off your body. Breathe, hold, step it back. You know where you're going, crescent lunge, that high lunge. Part the arms, right hand forward, left hand back. Stay with it. Exalt it. Right arm up, bicep by your cheekbone. Arc up and back. Now ring it out. Go for the twist. Right upper arm on the outside. Get your thumbs in the center of your chest. Open up. Expand those wings. Maybe you bind. Maybe you open. Maybe you hold. But let your breath keep clearing out any static in the attic, any of that stinking thinking. Bring it up and around, warrior two. Take your time. Straighten that left leg. Flip that left palm. Reach up. Bend that left arm. Snuggle it behind your head. Right hand catches the left elbow. Lift up and back. Now reach out and down, triangulate yourself. Utita Trigonasana, right arm up, right rib cage softens down. Maybe right hand to the outside of your right leg or on your shin or maybe even on a block or a book. Right hand sneaks behind. Maybe it's our top of that left thigh. 
Take a gaze and then float up. Half bound, half moon. Release it. Maybe catch that Chapasana connection on the way. Release into an L shape. Stay with it. Exhale. Squeeze the right leg behind the left. Get low. Inhale. L shape. Exhale. Come back down. Get low. Get little. Inhale. Come back up. Last time. Exhale. Come back down. Right hand down. Peel that left arm up. Now release into chair again. Utkatasana. Reach your arms forward, tailbone back. Lower your bum down. Wrap your arms around your shins. Pick them up. Bring your head down. Chin to chest. Balance. Balance and breathe. Now come to that high boat. Lift the legs up. Lower down to hover. Come all the way up. Now, I think what happens is when heel, now, heel toe your feet apart, rock and roll up. Can you hear me? Oh, I think I got tangled up. How about now? We have a thumbs up. So I got a little tangled up. Okay. Back, standing at the top of your mat. Stretch your arms out and up. Now, left arm bends, right hand catches that elbow, snuggle it up and behind, lift up and over to the right. Come back up, take the right hand down and up your back. Maybe you catch the hands and then take another bend. Whoo, nice stretch. Come back up, breathe in, look up. Right arm bends, let the left arm catch it. Take a side bend up and over to the left. Come back up, take that left hand, sweep it down and up the back side. Maybe the hands connect and then lean up and over to the left. Come back to the center. Radiate that light, that love. Lift your arms up. Heel toe your feet all the way together and bring your hands right to your heart center. Close your eyes and just give yourself a reset, a reconnect. Come back to your reason for unrolling your mat today, your purpose, your intention. And tap in to a little bit of that magical summer loving getting about the give, giving with no expectation of return. Now lift your arms up like a swan dive. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Take it through vinyasa, meeting back in down dog. Right leg lifts up. Turn open at the hip. Stay or flip inside out for wild thing. Right arm comes up. Bring it around. Weave the right knee underneath. Shoot it out. Fall your triangle. Left arm up and overhead. Now flex your feet. Sit your hips down. Take a brush and sweep to the opposite side. Left hand down. Pick your hips up. Fall your triangle at the back of the house. Now, nice and slow, come back around, but find pigeon at the top of your mat. Right heel, top of left thigh bone. Now, if you're interested in that thigh stretch, reach back, pull in to lift up before you take that descend on down. But take your time walking on down. Breathe. Now, is there a layer that you could let fade away? 
Let meaning you have choice. Soften into it. They say we hold a lot of emotional stuff in our hips. See if there's a way to let any of it dissipate. Surrender it. Give up some of that stuff this summer season that you've been holding on to. Take the time to expand, to grow, to learn new ways of being, new habits. Walk your body up. Go ahead and take the right leg up and back. Maybe you shake it out or take a little circle with that right leg or hip. And then land back in Adho Mukha Svanasana down dog. Last standing series. Let the left leg lift. Turn open at the hip. Option to stay or if you want another wild thing, another back bend, flip. Left foot behind the right. Right leg long. Spin the right hip up and even open up your heart a little bit more. A little more back bend. A little more heart opening. Front body expansion. Bring it back around. Weave that left knee underneath. Shoot it out. Fall your triangle. Spin the right arm up and overhead. Now flex the feet as you hug the inner thighs in. Take a brush and sweep around. This is very active. Right hand down, left arm lifts. Come back around nice and slow and find your way into pigeon at the top of your mat. Left heel, top of the right thigh. If you want to lift up out of the inner thighs and maybe activate that thigh stretch before you descend down, go ahead and activate that option. And then dive right in to your version of pigeon. Letting that left hip soften. Let the inhales of your breath create space. Let the exhales of your breath help you dive on down and shed another layer that could possibly be holding you back. Just dive into that magical place this summer, that magical place, just like Van Morrison says, smell the sea and feel the sky. Let your soul and spirit fly. Now, when you're ready, begin slowly to transition. Walk your body up. We're going to bring the right leg around, and you're just going to plant your feet at the width of your hips and roll down onto your Right in to Supta Baddha Konasana, which is soles of feet together, knees wide, left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly, or if that doesn't serve you, feet to the width of your hips, knock your knees together, still letting left hand come to your heart and right hand to your belly. Now just take a couple of breaths right here. And then you can either stay here or move in to Shavasana, where you would lengthen your legs on out. And you've got that opportunity to stay. Just give yourself at least a minute right now to just stay and breathe. Bask in the good things in this summer season. Settle your mind and your heart. Just 
So just begin to invite yourself back into the day. Deb Coletti, an author, has offered some wisdom. So on your way to travel back up to a seat, she says that summer, after all, is a time wonderful things can happen to quiet people. For a few months, you're not required to be who everybody thinks you are. That cut grass smell in the air and the chance to dive into the deep end of courage you don't have the rest of the year. So the question would be, will you dive in to the deep this summer? Let your hands, when you come back to that comfortable, easy seat, be collected. Let your chin bow down to your chest and just seal your own purpose in. Let it bring clarity. Let it bring peace. Let it bring love. Let it bring that summer love right into your heart. Keep it set. Keep it clear. Finishing off today with one ohm to home. Sip your breath in. Oh. Now go on out and be a blessing. Namaste.